Good morning, Chevy. You want to go outside? And then we're going to go to daycare. Oh, it's going to be a good day. Right, Diesel? I'm going to stay home with the seniors. So good. I'd like to eat the soup first. Are you all ready for daycare? We gonna have fun? Are you? Yeah. Should we go? Oh, no, Wiener, you gotta stay here. You're too little for daycare. Did someone say daycare? That sounds great. Remember back in my day, we didn't have daycares. Yes, you did. I worked in a daycare and you came to work with me. I'm trying to sound <laughs> older than I am. Go on, Wiener, you gotta stay. Go have a nap. All the seniors get to stay at the senior center for the day. <laughs> okay, Chevy, you ready? You sure? We can stay home if you want. Yep. <laughs> okay. Dad jokes, you know? Chevy. Are we here? You gonna go play with your friends, buddy? Chevy. No? Chevy. Do you wanna go? Yeah? <laughs> He's so excited. Put the camera down. Let's go inside. He's all excited, all jumping for joy until we get here. And then he's nervous. And he, he wanted to come with us. <laughs> but there's lots of ladies in there today, so. Oh yeah, I heard him howling. Yeah. Chevy! Chevy! Come here, Chevy! Woohoo! I wanna lick you, I wanna lick your face, Chevy. <laughs> he's a stud. Well, well a fixed stud. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just to be clear. We don't breed. Uh, snipped but still equipped. <laughs> A little early for motorcycles, don't you think? Man, his face must be cold. There he is. Who's here? Who's here? He's being such a good boy. So now we know that it's Chevy. That's the bad one. It's been Chevy all along. My sister Cheryl dropped by. And it was interesting to see because Chevy's at daycare right now. And I thought Diesel was the one that gets all riled up when we have guests come Not over. Anymore. He was perfectly fine. A little bit excited, but for like 10 seconds. He didn't even realize I was here for like 30, 45 seconds. He was napping. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good boy, Diesel. Yeah, he's slowed down a lot. He's, he's maturing. Yeah. Old man, what you do? He's a wise old man. Just calm. Like what a calm Chevy interaction that was. <laughs> Chevy is. We should have named him Chaos. <laughs> Chevy, chaos, chaos, chaos Chevy. Yeah. Chaos yeah. Chevy. That would have been a great name for him. Chaos. <laughs> He'll get better. He's still got puppy brain. Yeah. He's almost six. Is he? <laughs> yeah. He'll be six in July. I was like, okay, then maybe not. It's a lab thing, though. He is going to heart park girl. Because he's so here. good. A few minutes after. Yeah. He slows he's, down he's, quick now. He's like the gentle one. Yeah, he is. So, how was day two of daycare? Did you make any girlfriends? Mom! <laughs> They're pretty cool. Apparently the daycare worker in there, Allison, just loves him. Yeah. I mean, who couldn't? Who couldn't love him? Chaotic Chevy. So he's gone in for a couple of half days now to see how he handles it, and it went really well. So the next time will be a full day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because a half day is probably not enough exercise for him still. So. You want to go home? Go see Diesel? 
the house was a little kind of kind of peaceful yeah. while you were here, Chevy. Life was a little <laughs> bit easier without you, but not nearly not, as fluffy or loving. Not nearly as good. Yes. I'm glad to have you back. He doesn't care. No. He's just looking at the people outside. Hey, Chef. Go home. All right, okay. let's... There they are. Tell them all about your day, Chevy. Tell them all about your day. Now you brought him back, did you? Came back for it, now you're whooping, did you? <laughs> Whoopy snapper? Wiener. You miss him? Well, I guess so. I'm pretty much, I just missed mommy for the most part. The rest of you can leave. I didn't touch any other dogs, I swear. Who is that? I smell, I smell ladies on him. Mama, I think he was with the ladies. You smell that? Chevy. You girlfriends? A daycare? Multiple girlfriends? Oh my, Chevy. You player, you. Only one at a time, Chevy. Be respectful of the ladies. All right, let's go inside. Come on, you don't have to sit in the entryway. Go on. <laughs> like this? Oh, Our second curtain came today. So we actually have a set instead of just one. The finishing piece to the bedroom. There we go. Now just for the wife's approval. Beautiful. Yeah? Yep. Gorgeous. Much better. A lot less college kid dormy. The room is now complete. Nice. You have a real room now. A big kid room. Still no old blue. Didn't get her back today yet. So, I come here and work on some videos. Maybe work on the shop a bit. For now, this is my setup. Oh, this is ready to go. I'm downloading my editing software onto my old laptop. This is my old one. This is my new one. I'm going to need two computers, I think, to edit my videos now from now on. A little bit of behind the scenes chit chat with you. As you guys know, because I, I've mentioned it in the last couple of videos, I got, so, I got a new setup here with a new camera and I'm learning how to use it. I'm, I'm actually kind of really thankful for the time I have now at home so that I can figure this all out. It's very different. And when you're used to making videos a certain way for 12 years, or what has it been? Yeah, it's been about 12 years since I started, but 10 years since I've been doing what I'm doing now, I sort of get myself into a routine. And now I have to completely uh, not upend it, not completely change it, but there are certain key aspects of the editing process that are different now. The camera I'm using is the Sony a7C. It has steady shot built into it. This is uh, a little bit of behind the scenes uh, shop talk since we're in the shop that I wouldn't usually bother sharing with you guys because not all of you care about what cameras I'm using. You just want to see the video. But since this is uh, what I'm dealing with right now and this is a vlog of my life and I'm trying to share with you everything that's going on, this is the biggest thing that's been going on. It's been taking me a little while to get used to this. With this software or with this camera, the steady shot that's built into it isn't really that great. The picture is amazing. The camera is amazing. I have a Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter lens on it right now. It's amazing. It gives a really wide angle shot. And there's a reason why I bought this lens. It came recommended by other vloggers on YouTube that I watched. And I'll explain why. When I put my software onto the computer, since it's still pretty shaky, it's very difficult for you, the viewer, to watch shaky footage. I know you've probably seen some of it maybe on other channels, maybe even some on my channel. It's very hard to focus, it can give you a headache, kind of make your head spin a little bit when the, the footage is all shaking all over the place, right? So 
my goal is to create some smooth footage. That's why I got the gimbal. I have a Crane M2S gimbal that I can use with this camera as well. But it's a little bit bulky and I can't always have it with me. I can't always carry it around everywhere. So I just point and shoot with this camera and the lens. But then when I'm editing it to get rid of all of that shake, I put it into the Sony uh, Catalyst Prepare software. I put it into this software and what it does is it has this gyro data inside the camera which records all the movements of the camera as I'm moving it around. So the camera's still shaking around. It's just remembering exactly every little movement that I've made. It stores that data and when I put it into the software, it completely stabilizes the whole clip. All my clips you've seen that are so stable, I should show you, show you the original sometime. Sometimes the original, especially when Brits uh, like when I'm in the passenger seat and I was talking to Brit, we're kind of on the road, everything's kind of shaky, but after I put it through the software, it's amazing the technology is just completely smooth. But it's an extra step that adds about an extra hour to my editing process every day. So it's, uh, it slows that down a little bit. It's a good thing these videos are behind a little bit so I can take my time putting them together and you don't really even notice the lag on your end. Uh, but I put it into my program and what it does is, remember I was talking about this Tamron lens at the wide angle. It's actually capturing a lot more than you're seeing right now because I run this through my software. You'll maybe see more of it now because I have you in a fixed position. But when I'm walking around, you'll see that the corners get cropped in quite a bit and that's how it stabilizes it. It takes all the gyro data of all the movements of the camera, smooths it out at the expense of the frame size. So it'll crop in the frame. So, you know, maybe, maybe you can see my, my hands right now as I'm stretching them out. But if I was walking around, it might look more like this instead. I might look closer to the camera. It cuts out the edges. But it's very handy. The thing is, it adds an extra hour every day onto what I do. No big deal, right? I just have to plan ahead and time management, right? That's why I'm thinking of uh, bringing my old computer here, my old Acer out of retirement. And I'm thinking, at the end of my day, I put all of my clips onto my old computer, right? And I put it through my software and through Catalyst Prepare, completely stabilize everything, let it do its thing overnight, whatever on here. The next day, take that stabilized footage, transfer it onto my new Acer, the one that I do all my editing on. It's a lot faster, a lot better, a little bit more sleek. You can tell here that it's, they both have the, oh, where did the underglow go here? This one doesn't have the underglow. It does have the light up uh, keys though. This one has the underglow here. So this is the new one. This is the old one. This is what I'm gonna get my software ready for. Do my post-production on here. And then move it onto here where I can edit it with my high speed laptop. Even though this one's pretty high speed too. This one, they're, they're both really good laptops, both Acers. Uh, so, have I been saying Acer? Come on, Josh. Asus. My bad, I'm sorry. I'm an Asus fan. I keep saying Acer. Big difference, big difference. Sorry, so sorry. May the Asus gods forgive me. But yeah, so uh, get the footage ready to edit on here, transfer it onto here, edit it and render it here and upload it from here to YouTube so you can see it. So is it a big pain in my butt? Not really, because I don't see it that way. I love making these videos. That's why I keep doing it every day. And I love that I have new technology to work with now. I love seeing how things progress and how things get better in, in, in terms of technology. This camera is amazing and it's been a dream of mine to have for a long time. And so what it adds a little bit of time every day onto my editing process. For me, the quality of the shots and the quality of the video makes it worth it. And plus all of your comments every day, every like that you leave, every, every view, every time you stop in and just watch a Trucker Josh vlog, that's what makes it worth it for me. I love sharing things with you guys and I love that you guys enjoy what I make for you, or I love when you enjoy it. I know you probably, not all of my vlogs are at the same level. Some days I have more time to invest into them than others. And I, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Sometimes they're 100%, sometimes they're 120%. But I always try to give 100% at least. If you like it, I appreciate when you give a thumbs up and you leave me a comment down, down below, just like every other YouTuber. The reason us YouTubers always ask you to hit that like button and leave a comment down below, if you're wondering, if you, no one's ever explained it to you before, is it helps us out a lot with the algorithm. When YouTube sees that a lot of people are hitting those thumbs up button, it'll say, oh, P 
people like this video, I'm gonna push it out to more people, to new people. So that's the easiest and free way you can help me just by hitting that like button. It tells YouTube that, hey, I like this. Maybe someone else will like it too. So YouTube will send it out to other people that don't follow me and say, hey, maybe you'll like this guy. Hey, look at all these people who hit the thumbs up button. Maybe you'll like it too. Same thing with comments, right? When YouTube sees, oh, there's a whole bunch of comments and a whole bunch of interaction on this video. It must be something people wanna talk about, right? Let's share it with more people who don't follow this channel and who aren't subscribed because obviously this channel is, you know, attracting a lot of comments. That's why us YouTubers always ask, hey, hit that like button, comment down below. It's an easy way for you to support us if you, if you do like what we do and you wanna see more of it, and it's free. So you can actually help, help me grow my channel for free. So that, that, that's, that's why I always say that. And now you know for the future. So I've run into a bit of a snag. My old computer isn't gonna handle the software that I need to render the videos and to uh, stabilize them. And that's the reason I stopped using it in the first place because it became outdated. My software and programs that I used to edit my videos didn't even work on my old computer anymore and it caused it just to crash every time I tried to upload a video. That's why I had to make a last minute journey and a rush trip into Winnipeg uh, several months ago to buy the new computer. There was a reason we retired you. We're gonna have to stick with this one. I should have known, but I was kind of hopeful. Having two computers would just, you know, while one computer is doing one thing, I can do something else on the other. You know, it's just twice as fast that way. But it is what it is. All I need is one computer, I guess. I was trying to be extra fancy. Turns out I'm just a little bit fancy. Stay in your lane, Josh. Stay in your lane. No, it really is too bad. Oh, well. Oh, well. I could have saved some time. But I guess not everything in this world is about speed. You know, I, at work, everything is about, you know, getting there as quickly as you legally can. Not wasting any time. Proper time management. Well, time management is still important. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, this is going to take a little bit longer every day to put these videos together for you. I think it's worth it. So I'm not going to complain about that. I think it's completely worth it. I don't mind at all. I was trying to cut some corners and I should have known better. That's not going to work. No cutting corners. If you want to do something right, you got to do it right. No cheating. Though having another computer wouldn't really be cheating, right? Right? Back me up on this. It wouldn't be cheating. I mean, uh, Josh, you don't need two high-powered computers. You already have one high-powered computer. You don't need two. But it'd be nice. But I don't need two. So back at home, we uh, are testing out this little swing that we got from Bert's sister, Auntie Jazz. I need to click this thing on right here. Look at that. Magic. That's that's the lowest setting. Just enough to get a little bit of, you know. But if you got some kind of wild kid that just wants to, you can crank it right up. Give it a second. Give it a sec. There it goes. Woo! And go to town. Wild. Yeah. Very exciting. I kind of want to sit in it, but. <laughs> I don't think you'd sit for very long. Britt won't let me.